at one time or another, it happens to every one of us, things fall apart. Sometimes the things that fall apart are actual things, like the dishwasher floods the kitchen, or the car breaks down in the middle of a busy intersection. Or one morning we go to the computer and it's fried and is just not going to reboot. Things fall apart. Sometimes the things that fall apart aren't physical things, but are things that are part of our life, like relationships fall apart, our finances fall apart, our career or our job falls apart. The closer something is to our identity, to things that we value as important, the more difficult it is for us when things fall apart. You know, we're coming into the sec the finishing the second year of the COVID-19 pandemic. And in this pandemic, lots of things have fallen apart. Jobs have fallen apart. School systems have fallen apart. People's health has fallen apart. Their finances have fallen apart. And we can see statistically the signs of all those things falling apart. As there are rates of increase for depression and anxiety and addictions and so many other things like domestic violence. So when things fall apart, what is it that we do? Often we're overwhelmed, we're angry, we're frustrated, we're sad. We're not sure what to do. But I wanna talk about the importance of understanding how to sort out things that fall apart because all of us, whether now or at some other point in our life, will experience things falling apart. So I'm going to be spending this video and the next three on this topic of what to do when things fall apart. One of the things I think that gets us into a lot of trouble when things fall apart are the beliefs that we may have, the dogmas we may carry with us. For example, some people believe in the law of attraction. They think that we attract things to ourself. When things fall apart, well, what does that mean? That we attracted this falling apart to ourself? Other people believe that if I believe enough, Jesus will always give me the victory. When things fall apart, it's not exactly victorious. So does that mean there's something wrong with my faith or something wrong with Jesus? There are other people who believe in karma. When things fall apart, does that mean that something I did in the past is causing things to fall apart now? You see, I don't think any of these beliefs or any of these dogma are really helpful for us when things fall apart, because all they do is make us feel guilty and more isolated, and it becomes more difficult for us to sort out what we need to do. So I think it's important to set aside those beliefs in order to learn to move forward when things fall apart. And in order to move forward when things fall apart, I think there are three different dimensions that work together, and I'm calling them dimensions uh, maybe factors or, or aspects, because it's not like one is more important or, or better than the others, but that they all work together, that there's a synergy that all three of them build for each other. But I can only talk about one at a time, so I'm going to talk about them as three things, but they're really interconnected. The first is to always remember that nothing lasts forever, that everything changes. Things may have fallen apart today, but that doesn't mean things have fallen apart forever. No, the sun's going to rise just like it may be raining today. Things are going to change. I'm not the person I was 20 years ago. Assuming I live another 20 years, I'm not going to be the same person. I'll change. I'll evolve. We know that things always change and evolve, but we're used to it happening slowly in a measured way. When things fall apart, it happens suddenly. And that's part of what becomes overwhelming for us and difficult to manage. But it's important in the midst of everything falling apart to step back and remember, this is a moment. This is what's happening now. And in the future, something else will be different. And so that we have some perspective on what's occurring for us. The second thing that I think is important for us is 
the importance of an interior life. Now, we don't turn on an interior life the moment something falls apart. This is something that we build over time. And hopefully, if you've been building your spiritual practice or other things that keep you grounded in life, that allow you to put down roots and into your innermost being, then, then you have this as a resource. Those things may be an appreciation of art or music or nature or your spiritual practice. I think it's important right now to think about spiritual practice in terms of that term. We talk about spiritual practice because we're always practicing. When things fall apart is when the rubber hits the road and we need to use what we've practiced for real. It's one thing to have practiced learning to find peace. It's another to pull on that as a resource, that spiritual discipline that we've had to help us find peace. And those spiritual practices can be many and varied, and I've talked about that in other videos. But what's important here is our sense of interiority. So really developing that sense of an inner life so that we have that when things fall apart. And the third thing that I think is really important is to remember that there are other people in your life that can be helpful. A mistake people often make when things fall apart is to think that they need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, that they need to solve it on their own. It's important to have people you can trust around you then, trusted friends, trusted family members who will be supportive of you, but also drawing on the expertise of professionals, whatever kinds of professionals may be important at that time. You know, maybe it's a job coach or a therapist or something else that's going to help you sort through whatever it is that has fallen apart. So in the next three videos, I'm going to talk about those three aspects, those three dimensions, and delve into them more carefully and how they help us when things fall apart. For now, what I'd like you to do is subscribe to this channel and be sure to click that bell so that you're notified of those future videos so that you know when these next three videos drop. Share this video, like it, and please be aware that I really understand that for every one of us, there are times in life when things fall apart. It's part of how life goes. And it may not have anything to do with anything you've done, but maybe all about the circumstances we live in, because things fall apart. Thanks for your time today. I appreciate that you spend it with this video.